Hello everyone, and I've been sent this package, and this package is from the guys at Engine DIY, which is a model engineering company based online, and they contacted me to say they've got a brand new steam engine out, and they'd love for me to review it, so here I am reviewing it. Now this is under the Retro brand, Engine DIY, the stock from various different brands, um, but this one's from Retro. I have reviewed a Retro engine before, a Beam engine, which I'll put a little video on screen now of it. And I'm very interested to see what this engine's like. I have seen videos of it, I know what it is, but I'll show you it now. First off, I love the box. Merry Christmas. <laughs> very, very fitting for the time, because obviously this is December 2024. So, we're going to open it up and see what's inside it. So, let's get this open and see what is inside. So straight up, we've got what looks to be the instructions. So, this is the engine. <clears throat> This is the engine, as you can see it's got a horizontal boiler, whistle, safety valve, main steam valve, very nice street lamp which is connected to the generator, and we've got a steam engine itself which looks to have steam sensor link reversing gear, and I presume that red button there is to power the generator. Is this the instructions for it? We'll look at that later. But let's have a look at the actual engine itself. Okay, so we'll take the starting off, here we are, this is the first layer, so we've got what looks to be the button. Flywheel, I think this is the same flywheel as from the beam engine. It's a sturdy flywheel, so it's very good. Uh, what's this? Ooh, that's, oh, that'll be the pedestal for the, for the lamp. We've got the lamp here. Very nice. That's one set of parts. Put them over there and keep them safe. And then here's the next set. Oh, we've got, so we've got the boiler. That's the actual cylinder assembly. That's the generator. That's actually quite nice. That is quite a nice looking generator. I am quite impressed with that. You've got the whistle, it's obviously on the boiler assembly there. Take that out, there's anything else in the bottom. Oh, I think there is. Oh yes, this has got the base. It looks like we've got, this is your little tool kit you get with some, that's the nuts and bolts that you use to build the engine. And then you've got, that looks like the burner assembly. Oh, that's your little tool kit to build the engine. And then you've got the firebox assemblies, again the burner, and then the base. I think that's it. So, let's get this box out of the way, and let's have a look at starting the build. So, let's open this up. I've got to try and figure out what's the start page here. What's this here? Oper that's operating instructions. Oh, these are the build instructions. Right, got ya, got ya. Oh, this is just the parts. See, this shows you what parts you get with the actual engine kit. Oh, there's a strail oiler. I can't remember don't know where that came from. Then we've got, this is the, this is just how to operate the engine. And here are the instructions, step by step, of how to build your steam engine. So, start at, the, at number one, that makes sense. We need a building. Now I'm going to time lapse this build so you can get an idea of what it is, but I don't want to spoil too much of it. So I hope you enjoy watching me build this engine and let's see how it goes.
So here we have the finished steam engine. So I'll give you a quick run through of what we've got. So see, this is the boiler. It's got a methylated spirit burner, which has two wicks which are going there. This is your main steam valve. This is the whistle, which is quite, I think it's quite a nice whistle actually. So this one, you, the steam pressure will push this pin out of that and you just push it in like that to blow the whistle. It's got a street lamp, which is meant to be powered by the generator, which is here, which is driven off the engine. It's also got Stevenson's Link reversing gear, which I haven't seen on an engine like this before, certainly in this configuration. It's quite interesting how they got the handle over the crankshaft. And then in front of the cylinder, you've also got two drain cocks, and on the steam union, you've also got a cylinder oiler. Okay everyone, so here's the time, we're going to give the engine a go on compressed air. Straight away, there we go. 